Yep. Hi. Hi, this is Kim and Mike, if you don't know us. Um, and we're heading down for our second annual RV show trip down in Denver. Um, it's uh, March 7th and it's going to be a great time. We're going to try to check out the Alliance RVs. It's a new manufacturer um, and they're kind of trying to compare themselves with Grand Design a little bit. Um, we're gonna, also going to take a peek at the rear kitchen um, from Grand Design and um, we'll, we'll take a look and we'll show you a couple of different RVs and kind of see what we can do. Hi. Hello. We are at the uh, Denver RV Show and we have a brand new uh, RV Manufacturer Alliance and uh, their quality is right up there along with Grand Design some of the other top uh, designs out there. So I'm starting at the front. So this is the uh, same uh, uh, pin box that we have, the Rotoflex Road Armor with the uh, pivoting heads. Have a nice uh, generator area here. Almost as big as ours, not quite as long, but uh, definitely the same height and depth in here. Got all your hydraulic controls in here, place for batteries, and obviously other stores and a generator if you're going to get that. Uh, 101 inch wide body design, just like ours. Got the drop frame, just like ours. Got the dual uh, 30 pound tanks, just like ours, one on each side. See in the front, don't have a windshield on this one, but a nice uh, fiberglass front cap just like ours with the uh, wrap around behind here. Keep the weather out. Around this side. Here's your other 30 pound tank. Huge Hang on. story. Okay, so on the other side, we've got a slide out here, and this is the huge pass through storage. So nothing's turned on now, but you got your auto leveling here, motion control lights like we have. Uh, got your water room here. I like to have that divided off a little more, but that's still nice having it here on the side. And I love this, having all your tank poles right here for water room. Same setup we have, outdoor shower, battery disconnects right here, got a motion light and some plugs here. And then looking in here, got a nice huge pass-through, wraps all the way around there. You got your uh, Plugs for a TV, I believe your central back system, and uh, some USBs over there. Heated in here, so nice and climate controlled. Uh, very nice storage area. And coming around the back, 50, 50 amp connection, uh, your water heater and your furnace outlets on this side, which are really white. Back to the fridge, inlet and outlets. Coming down here, the tires, looks like. 16 inch wheels and I can't see the rating of the tires. Yeah, you can see right away. It's probably FRG rated tires, I would imagine. And you got the Cree 3000 suspension system in there, which is what they have on the Grand Designs now, starting in 2020. Very nice setup. Looks like it's prepped for slide toppers, so come over there slide toppers just like we have. Not too bad. I do like this a little more. We have the frameless windows that flip out, which is good for looks and things, but I like the bigger sliding windows. You get a lot more airflow. You can open it up a lot further than you can. One thing this model does not have that we do that I love is all of our storage in the back. But that's just the floor plan. You can't have that in this. Got your three, your uh, two-inch receiver that can tow. You got your four-pin plug back here. I believe they have full LED lighting in here too. So uh, very nice. You can see up here it's the Paradigm model. Uh, they have a few floor plans, but they've only been in production for a couple months now this year. Got your fixed ladder. Go up there. So 72,000 RV show price. That was around what ours was when we bought ours last year. And if you look, you got your big uh, slide toppers. Awnings. Probably a 13, 14. Awnings. Awnings. Not slide toppers. Awnings. Got your two 
big bay windows with uh, uh, sideways sliders, which I like. You know, you know, you know. speakers, our windows, standard uh, screen door like we have on ours. I love this, the solid step, a little wider than ours, and you got a big enclosed area, so your foot doesn't come all the way through. But same, des same design, same clip up like that, clip right up in the door when you travel. Very nice, good grab handle like we have with ours. This is the 70 FB front end. Let's come on up, shall we? Alright, come on up here. And here we are, chilling in the RV. The Alliance Paradigm. So, this is the uh, combined floor plan, the front bedroom. So, have a triple slide out sofa, so this slides out to a queen bed. Really like this. Window balances, they went to a low profile on the sides, so if you're not uh, banking yourself on the sides of the uh, balances. Pull down shades just like ours. Automatic roll up in there. And I love these. Slide up windows here. Looks like we have different uh, sections in there. You can get some really good airflow. And got your side counters with USBs and plugs down there. And a nice little storage area in there. Very nice. And you have those on both sides. One thing I love on these RVs, on this manufacturer, slow close latches on everything, every drawer, cabinet, and everything. So, magnetic catches, very nice. Okay, moving around here. Got your big fireplace, I uh, believe just about the same model we have, but this is cool. This is a pull out storage area. It's behind the uh, Fireplace, got your big storage, put blankets, pillows, and stuff. And of course, this blows heat just like ours. Well, I don't like the flexibility there. You can do that, you can lock it on both sides for transport. Got a big shelf up here to put things. Got your stereo system and speakers. Some plugs there, you put a DVD player there. If you wanted to. And your fixed TV here. Yeah, it's just fixed there. You can't uh, angle it, but nice and solidly uh, mounted on there. Some storage up here. Same goes all the way back in there. You've got your slow close storage. And got some nice pitted storage up here. These shelves go all the way back here. Same slow close. Things. This is a LED accent light back here. I saw the video. A couple of storage shelves. So we got little areas you can put some knickknacks and stuff up there, some pictures up on the wall. Nice. And I uh, got your direct flow AC units. It's not ducted in here. I know they do that for uh, various reasons for structural rigidity, but it's kind of nice. Uh, it's got the Coleman Mock AC units like we do. It's just not ducted. Got your LED lights up all along the trailer here. Over here, got your dual power everything. So it's not hooked up now, but power recline, heat, massage. Got little tables you can plug in here like ours. And got a little flip down area here with your cup holders, a little armrest. You can have, it's kind of cool. But plenty of people for, or a group for two or three people. So very nice. So I've got your dual kind of modern looking uh, light balances up there. Solid surface countertops like ours, a lot thicker, which is kind of a nice, uh, big, nice glossy finish. Got plugs yeah, on both sides. Nice. Coming over here. Yeah, the landing. Have this, which I don't personally like, but you got the one bin sink. You can flip this to have like a rinse in a dry area or a drying rack for uh, doing dishes, which is kind of nice. Same faucet we have, uh, just different finish. You got the full out nozzle. And then your hot and cold water, just like ours has. Very nice. Okay, so your cooking areas. So got some nice storage up here, one up here. Uh, nice big full-size insignia microwave, same size as ours, just different manufacturer. 
believe that's probably a convention microwave too, or convection microwave. This is the thing that make us jealous. Big full size oven. You can cook a full size turkey in there. So I've got a couple racks. Uh, I don't even see. I believe the flames will be below that panel there. So it's kind of nice. It's all protected. A lot taller than ours, obviously. And so with that, you don't get the pull-out drawer underneath. You get a full four burner stove here. You can cook four things on there. Nice big racks over it. Very nice. Okay, up here. So you got some accent lighting here. Got some lights under here. Nice window with some shades here. I don't like the roller or the uh, blind shades, but you can always swap that out. Looks like this is just a fixed window for light, no ventilation or anything on there. We got plugs, more storage up here on both sides. And of course, some nice long deep drawers here. Put silverware, all your different things, and we're all slow closing. Same as here, got your island drawers, ton of storage here on these. All the soft clothes, and then under the sink. No dividers or anything, just one big gaping uh, storage area, which is nice for all your cleaning supplies, food, different things you want to put under there. And you can get to the hoses. And access to all your water lines. And one thing I noticed, this manufacturer, they do with all their water lines, is they have shutoff valves here and all the access points. So if you do get a small water leak, you can isolate it and shut it off right there and not have to shut the whole system down and start uh, uh, looking for different areas of where it could be leaking, so very nice. And obviously easy access to all your plumbing. <laughs> okay, come across this way. Got your full size, more cold fridge freezer. Same thing that we have, although I think this is taller than ours on the front. The uh, fridge, freezer area looks like it's bigger. I wonder if, and the Bridge area. It's the same size, so I believe this is a little taller than our model. I don't but think it is. I think we just have stuff full of ours, so it looks shorter. I don't know. Because that looks a lot taller on top. But regardless, it'd be pretty similar. But the shelves and everything are all the same. So, got some nice trim work all through here. This is all solid hardwood. Uh, throughout there, same as the uh, the faces of all the cabinets, of course there's plywood and the drawers and things like that. So very nice. Over here, got your nice little slim pantry area here on the side. Get your solid, real solid doors here, and this has motion sensing lighting all, all through here. Just uh, nothing's hooked up now. So you got all your different storage areas. These are, I believe, are all just fixed shelves. You can't adjust them or anything, but some good storage area. Okay, coming around this way. Got your little dining area. Don't personally like this, but it's kind of cool looking. Got your little designer sides of the tables here. Table here. Nice thick table, but and it's fixed to the wall, so you don't have a pedestal there. Although it is a little, little wobbly there. Two fixed chairs here with storage in there, like ours had. And you have two folding chairs in the back, so you can have four people in here. What I like is these giant windows here. Tons of windows. And instead of having the frameless windows with the flip up, you can have a big sliding opening so you get a lot more airflow on one side there. Very nice. And the two huge windows on the side. So that is the dining room area. So you like this little bench area? Sit down, take your shoes off, put shoes underneath. Little storage here, and hang some jackets here. Very nice. All right, we're back. So a little entry area here. Have epoxy handles here. Uh, got some shoe storage underneath, like we do, and it looks like a big vent area. Got your fuse panel, the easily access. Got some storage up there. Nice uh, coat closet here with the hanging rack. And all your controls right here, easily accessed. All your slides, heaters, uh, tank levelers, things like that. Okay, coming in here. This is the half bath in here. 
It's got a nice little swing door. It actually has more room than we have in ours. So you got your LED accent light, overhead light, and a max fan in here. Max air fan that you control right here. Got your toilet, all these have soft closed lids, which is kind of cool. Fully porcelain toilet. Okay. Got a nice big sink. The way they have the layout, it's a lot bigger than ours in our half bath. Um, nice high rise faucets here. Oh look, got a little bit of the uh, water going on. Um, epoxy covered counters, I love that. It's almost like a plastic uh, coating on there. Um, plenty of areas up here to put pictures and things if you wanted. Got some nice drawers in here, all the soft clothes, and a little storage area there on the side. Keep your toilet trees in there. So very nice bathroom. Nice wood trim all around here, all solid hardwood trim. Real thick, dense doors here. So not the cheap, cheap little doors. Okay, come on up here. Here's all of the controls for your air conditioners here. Yes. For the two that are back here. So it's got two in the living room here, one here and one back there. And one in the bedroom. So the control for the one in the bedroom would be Got your back ki there. kitchen max air fan here. And you actually have the LED lights with the dimmers, which is very nice. Like okay, coming in the master bedroom. So we have this, like a nice sliding pocket door. Actually goes right in the wall. So you can divide that off. It's nice. Lock it, keep it open. Here you go. So coming over here. We've got a king bed in here. Let's see if I can get next to it. <laughs> so you got some plugs over here. You have a TV booster and a Wi-Fi control here. So you can turn those off to boost your Wi-Fi signal and your, your TV antenna. You have a little shallow uh, slide out for the bedroom, which is nice. Gives you more walkway here. Gives you a couple bench areas to sit down, put your shoes on, get dressed. Little flip up things with storage all inside of there. Got a huge sliding window here, get some good airflow. Got your smaller TV mounted up here for the bedroom. Little hidden storage area here, which is nice. And what's nice is you can still keep things on the counter and the whole thing doesn't flip up, it's only half of it. And got the soft closing hinges. Good bank of drawers, these are actually a lot bigger than ours. Probably because of the slide out that you get for the bedroom, it opens this up. So you get some deeper drawers and dresser and still having a walk, walk room here. So one of the things that I'm going to show you, because I'm already stuck back here next to this king bed, is next to the bed, it has a place for your CPAP storage. Um, if you're going to be, if you need a CPAP machine, it's got a plug in the back of it and a nice little pocket for it. It's got a little pocket to put your glasses on so you're not um, rolling over and knocking them off the shelves and different things. And then it's got a little shelf to put your cup on and USB storage and um, the plug-in down here. Very nice. And this whole bed is on a slide, so slides back just like ours does. At the three windows around like ours does, but I like this, that uh, back window actually opens. It's not just a fixed window. Mm -hmm. So it gets a good airflow plus the little side ones. <laughs> Very nice. Good. This is a king size bed. Obviously you can downsize the queen like we did, which I believe we would give you a little more walk, walk around room on the sides there. But still with the king, that's some pretty decent walk around there. Okay. In bed storage, just like ours. Look that up. There's your other dining room chairs. You can see this goes back not quite as deep as ours. There's still some really good storage and it's all just one big storage area. You don't have that dividing shelf here. So very nice. And that feels like really solid wood on the bottom. Not the plywood like ours. So you can put some good heavy uh, weight in there and probably be able to stand on that no problem. So. And these are not slow close. I've heard several people closing it and it slams down. Gotta watch it just like ours. Okay. okay. Big barn door here, just like ours. Lock off the bathroom. Slides open. Nice big bathroom area here. So if we close this off, huge 
sink area. They don't have the dual sinks, which they could easily do, but they went with one big barn sink with plenty of uh, storage around there. Got a nice vanity with LED lights around the back. Dual plugs, a couple uh, windows to open, get some good ventilation in here. Very nice, got plenty of storage drawers. These on each side, goes back really deep. And some under sink storage there. Access your water lines, keep toiletries, things like that. Okay, you got your toilet here right next to the shower, which is actually uh, pretty good because you still have a huge area to get in the shower. Got your max fan controls here. Open up max fan, plus of course you get your uh, AC ducting and things like that in here. Okay, shower. Very nice. Not quite as tall as ours, but still decent. I'm 6'1", wearing shoes. I still have an inch or two before my head hits the ceiling. Plus you get the uh, uh, skylight up there. Real nice, kind of, it's a vinyl looking thing, but it makes it look like tile here in the shower. You're really easy to clean, really nice looking, looks like stone. Got your shower control here, your on and off, and a fixed shower head here, which is nice, but it's a little low for me. I'd have to be ducking down like this. But I like these shower doors. And you got a little flip up bench, which is nice. If you don't need it, just keep it up there. It's not in the way, but if you do need it, you can flip it down. What I like about this shower, very long. So you got plenty of room to walk back and forth. The only downfall, it's not a sunken in shower. Uh, it probably goes down a few inches, but you don't have the tub area like ours does. But very nice shower. Lovely shower doors, even better than ours. It's got the three door system, but I believe they, they uh, open a little easier than ours. And it's got the clear glass, which would be probably a little easier to clean, just no privacy in there. In there. Okay, got some more storage shelves here, which is nice. So that's pretty good. I believe this is probably taken up on the other side. With wait for it. Wait for it. Your walk in closet area. So that little area is taken up by uh, this. Big old hamper here, which is nice. Although this is very rough and unfinished, I'd probably replace all those boards, something nicer. But big, huge area. That's great. Hey, you got your shelving areas up here, wraps all the way around. Got your little hidden shelf area here. Some high some Christmas presents back there. <laughs> Okay, you got your washer dryer area, you got a couple shelves, huge storage area here. So if you didn't have a washer dryer like we don't, you can easily store quite a bit of things in here. And ours is in a closet and this is definitely wider, probably about the same depth. So very nice, got your, your double plugs there, all your washer dryer connections down there. Got, uh, I believe that'll be your, uh, actually that's a heater vent I believe in the wall. And then you would drill and put your ducting back there for your dryer vent. So, very nice. Got some heater vents up here. Of course, your LED lights. And then you're really nice. This is where you put all your clothes. You got a rack going all the way around. And of course, shelf for shoes, clothes, different things you need in there. So, a ton of storage in this kind of layout. So, this kind of layout, you get some really good front closet storage area. What you do lose is a separated living room kitchen area like we have in ours. That's just a floor plan, the limitations of a 40 foot trailer. And this is the view from the bathroom. From the bathroom, all the way to the back. As you can see, a big window in the back. So if you're actually out in the nice scenic area, you're gonna get some really good views all the way around the living room kitchen area. So overall, very nice, nice floor plan. Nice manufacturer, quality is right up there with brand design. Maybe not quite there, but very close. And the price is right. It's actually just under grand design, so you get a lot for your money. Definitely one of the few uh, full-time living rated uh, trailers, four seasons. Um, quality build is there. So I think for the money, especially for a new manufacturer, you have quite a bit. I'll be more curious to see more of the uh, new floor plans that come out later as they ramp up production. Uh, as far as we know now, they don't have a front living model like, like ours is. I'd uh, be pretty curious to see what that's like compared to ours. Right now, they got five models in production and very nice. <laughs>